Good afternoon. I've today left hospital after a week in which the NHS has saved my life. No question. It's hard to find words to express my debt. But before I come to that, I want to thank everyone in the entire UK for the effort and the sacrifice you have made and are making. When the sun is out and the kids are at home, when the whole natural world seems at its loveliest and the outdoors is so inviting, I can only imagine how tough it has been to follow the rules on social distancing. I thank you because so many millions and millions of people across this country have been doing the right thing. Millions going through the hardship of self-isolation, faithfully, patiently, and with thought and care for others as well as for themselves. I want you to know that this Easter Sunday, I do believe that your efforts are worth it and are daily proving their worth. Because although we mourn every day those who are taken from us in such numbers, and though the struggle is by no means over, we are now making progress in this incredible national battle against coronavirus. A fight we never picked against an enemy we still don't entirely understand. We're making progress in this national battle because the British public formed a human shield around this country's greatest national asset, our National Health Service. We understood and we decided that if together we could keep our NHS safe, if we could stop our NHS from being overwhelmed, then we could not be beaten and this country would rise together and overcome this challenge as we have overcome so many challenges in the past. In the last seven days, I have, of course, seen the pressure that the NHS is under. I've seen the personal courage, not just of the doctors and nurses, but of everyone, the cleaners, the cooks, the healthcare workers of every description, physios, radiographers, pharmacists, who have kept coming to work, kept putting themselves in harm's way, kept risking this deadly virus. It is thanks to that courage, that devotion, that duty and that love that our NHS has been unbeatable. 